What is going on everybody? It's Zach Michael here and today we're going to be making an NBA young boy type beat using a Cymatics loop. So we're going to be collaborating with Cymatics. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out othersofrecords.net. So I have a melody here pulled up from the drip kit and we're going to go ahead and use that to make the melody for our NBA young boy beat. Let's just play all the sounds. So that's what it sounds like. I also have a Melodyne MIDI pulled up here. We're gonna go ahead and pitch this up too and see how we like how that sounds. Might even try pitching it up another. Yep, one more. There we go. Now we're just gonna throw a little EQ and cut out some of those lows. Just like that, we have our melody for our NBA Amboy beat. Let's get started on the drums. Layer our clap. We're gonna use it. Like that. Next, we're gonna do our hi hats. NBA young boy type hi hats, I tend to make them a little bit more on the complex side because I don't know, that definitely just seems like something that he's done in the past on a lot of his songs. And I also like playing around with velocities as well. We're gonna just go ahead and lower the velocity on this like roll we have here. here. I flip. I'm not gonna flip it. We're just gonna leave it like that. And we're actually gonna use that on both sections. Um, a lot of young boys' beats tend to have very aggressive 808s, so we're going to be using this box 808. We boosted that a good amount. Now we have the Melodyne MIDI to use as our bass line here. something along these lines. going to have the kick play on all these notes, it's just going to play on some. Just like that. If you listen, the kick and the 808 kind of have some stutters, they don't play all the time together. And that's just to make certain notes be accentuated, to hear them like louder than others. Just let them emphasize certain notes better. I'm gonna look for work sound that'll work, and then we're gonna use this one. Charismatic. That here is why I wanna layer something with that second open hat. Now we're gonna add some bounce. Uh, 
on this one. Find like another rim shot. We can use this here. We'll use the common sense rim. Let's swap out this. selection really matters especially when you're trying to make a beat that fits like a certain artist style you want to use set, like sounds that they would use that fits their past discography but then also just like push the boundaries and do something a little different out knob on both of these they're shorter there we go Now I want a second version of the hi-hat that's gonna just be a two-step so that way we have another section although this two-step is going to have that little reverse in it as well from the shaper box we added which is good so it won't be like a completely boring just two-step which although sometimes that works i just like adding the reverse effect on it it gives it like a little more uniqueness i guess and it's just something that i like doing in a lot of my beats especially when i am going to do a two-step we're going to use this riser right here down a bit We won't have all the bounce. Second one, I'll have those. Put this little transition effect in. Turn the volume down, pitch it up a bit. We have a reverse arrangement. We'll duplicate that over. Um, a lot of young boy beats, there's just a lot of drums coming in and out on different sections of the verse, which is what we got going on here with like this section here and like this section here. And also some of the hi hats being taken out on the open hat section. So just to give it a bit more variation. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out those records.net. That's our collaboration, making an NBA young boy beat for the Cymatics Melody Loop. Thanks for watching. Records.net. If you'd like to support me, you can purchase VST expansion banks, drum kits, loop kits, and mini kits that'll level up your production there.